Hello and welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2 with me, Furry Ears, and no one else today. This is just a quickie, just a quickie, just a quickie. This is just a half hour for me. Uh, it might feel longer to you because I'm going to be doing some dull, dull stuff. Um, I need to start the, the big mob farm, which is going to be above the little mob farm kind of thing. Uh... I've, I've tried to come up with some, some clever ways of doing this, but, but haven't come up with any yet. Uh, I need some episodes to put out, so I've got to do two on my own, because Molly's not available at the moment to record. But she'll be back after the next two episodes of mine. Um, working on her power thing, which we've got going on down there. I need to expand that slab down there as well to make room for this, because I think this is going to have the mob farm above it and then it's going to drop the bits down the side and it's going to run down underneath into the processing facility that we're going to have downstairs. Uh, all this witty banter that I'm sharing with you is, is all part and parcel because I'm waiting for the cobblestone generator machine to uh, actually produce some cobblestone because we need the cobblestone. Uh, can I take that out? Yes I can. Nice. I didn't like it. It was ugly. It was all kinds of ass ugly. I don't like that dripping either. It's a bit disturbing. Disturbs me. I'm disturbed. That is a thing. Right, let's take some cobblestone downstairs and build some platforms. And let's empty our inventory of garbage first. Just in case we have an incident. I'm not saying we're going to have an incident. But on the, on the off chance that we do have an incident, I want to be fully prepared to, to not waste all the valuable resources that I have on my inventory right now. Like, like, skulls. Um of Endermen and Skeletons. I'm sure they, they're useful for something in Tinkers, but I do not know what. I have yet to uh, establish what, what purpose these, these items serve for me. How they make me better person. That's that's the key. That's the key to all of this. How does any of it make me a better person? Right, there's also rotten flesh needs to go back on the doodad. Otherwise, we're going to starve to death. And we don't want to do that. Right, let's get some cobblestone go downstairs. Bosh, bosh. Nice. Uh, so we kind of need to fill out this whole section down here. That's plan number one. Plan number uno. Uh, just doing some quick maths in my head. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just here. On my own. On my agrarian sky thing. Kind of, kind of, kind of ruins the illusion when Molly's not here with me. But, you know, it's a thing. I'm here on my own. And she's, like, off... I think she's doing an exam, actually. I think right now, as we speak, she's in an exam. So that's kind of why I'm working on my own for the time being. Because Molly be doing the tests. She doesn't have her PC with her. So here I am. Doing all the th things on my own. But I'm just, just you know, I'm just doing a bit of basically garbage grinding. Because it needs to be done. It needs to get this out of the way. It does need to be done. Normally I'd do this sort of thing off camera, because it's a bit dull to watch. But for now, because I need half an hour's worth of footage, you're going to see quite a bit of it on camera. But the construction of the, the mob grinder is usually, usually not a complete boring thing. It's usually fascinating to try and figure out exactly how I'm going to kill myself with the complexity of the thing. And that's always good for a laugh. So this is where we're going to have, or this is what I'm planning anyway, the ugly processing system for the, the rotten flesh that's going to make us the the things that we need. Um, dirt? I want to say dirt. It's going to make us dirt. I don't want to put torch down there yet, so we'll just work along this bottom line, I think. Is that it? We had a cobble. No, we're not. I didn't think we were. This, this inventory switching thing is just really, 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 really annoying. The fact that it doesn't actually reliably switch inventory. And I don't know why the chandelier that we have just, just there isn't casting light down downwards. It's only casting light upwards. Maybe it's upside down. Maybe it's an upside down chandelier. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. I'm not a chandelier expert. Many would disagree to hear me talk, but it doesn't look upside down. Oh well. It's kind of over this end of things we need the, the whole slab going on. So we'll, we'll, we'll do a bit of work down this end of things. How's that looking? 14. I mean, I'm not too worried. I don't think we're going to run out of cobblestone anytime soon. But, you know. You know what it's like. 
you, you, you're down here, you're doing stuff, cobblestone's being generated. When we're building the thing, it's going to be a massive, massive job. We're going to need to be sort of like on our game all the time, thinking about what we're doing, and it takes time to, to get all the thought processes right, and that's why you end up with loads of cobblestone in your barrel. Which is fine, because Molly wants to use the same barrel for creating all the ores and things, which is should work out for us okay, I think. I think that would be okay. I don't know definitively. It might it might work, it might not. We might need to, to double up on the cobblestone generator. I, I honestly think we will eventually. I think certainly the power demands that we're going to be placing on the system will require us eventually to double up on the cobble generation system. I don't think there'll be enough cobble produced from just one side of that cobblestone generator because it, it, it takes time for the cobble to actually form there. The breaker breaks it virtually instantly but the actual process of the lava pouring down and takes time. You can't rush these things. You, you gotta roll with, the, roll with the punches on this one so it, it does take a little bit of time for the lava to actually materialize and cobble to appear and that is where I believe we're going to have the falling down issues relating to power and, and all the other bits and bobs and stuff. How far? Up? Much, a, little bit more, a little bit further. It's a nice slab we got going on down here. And it's out of the way because it's going to have some ugly ass pipes on it. And if we've got all this down here, then we can, we can basically do all our piping down here. And it's not going to be in the way of anything. I think that's in line. We'll see. We'll try it. We'll try it and see. We'll suck it and see. Boop, 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 and a bit more. A bit more of the boop, 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 boop. I'm below my death point now. It's a sad time for me. Me and me, me and my, my family, we were quite, quite chastened by my death. There we go, that's where I died. If this slab had been here, I wouldn't have died. I'd have just taken a bit of damage, but this slab wasn't here. So I fell. I fell all the way down to my death point, which is like way down there now. That X marks where I died in the void uh, bereft of all my items I don't know whether I don't think no gravestones isn't in this is it because we watched Molly explode one time uh, that wasn't a, that wasn't a heartening experience to be, to be honest with you that wasn't a heartening experience watching Molly all her bits exploding everywhere just just it's a bit disillusioning a little bit uh, is that okay that's okay uh, can we have one on the corner there that's perfect and we have one there. Oh dear, that doesn't work out. And one there. And that doesn't work out either. So we'll bump that along to there and pop one there. That seems to work out okay. So we want to kind of want to run along the center line of that with with some sort of out outpouring system. Because we want we want the out feed to be coming out here. So we will Where do we want it to come? Kind of like that, I suspect. That'll be about the level that we want all the objects to appear there, sort of thing. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we go one more and we go up. So that should be the final water run. That should work out nicely. But just bob out to the sides and fill the sides in. So this is the this is the start of the mob farm. I'm wondering whether we're going to run out of space. This is the musing that I'm currently having because I've started this so high. We're coming up right below this path now. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's hard up against it. That's not that's not the end of the world, but we shall see. Uh, I have one there. That should do. So yeah, any items that come from our automated mob farm will just plop out down here and then we can have a hopper there and that will catch it all into a pipe and then the pipe could run off and do things with it uh, I'm thinking some sort of filtered into barrels for dirt let's make sure we got this right one two three four five six seven eight yes we did nice so we want seven this time seven only which is where the crisis might begin one two three four five six seven and one for luck 
turn and place. We're not hard up against it yet. There's still there's still wiggle room for furry down here, but it's getting closer. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tight old squeeze, if you know what I'm saying. Right, we'll have that like that, I think. That way we're not liable to lose any of the goodies that we get. Um, we should even, with this particular brand of mob spawnerage, get a few squid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. That's the perfect amount. Right, we should be able to stand up here. That's us hard up against the roof. Okay. A little bit awkward there, but... There's wiggle room. There's wiggle room. One, two, three, four, five... Oops, six, seven. That's a powerful wedge of lag we just had. Right, that is going to be basically the limit of that one. So we'll just go one more and we'll cap that off. Uh -huh. And we're going to drop in from both sides here, I think. So we'll need to put that up to there like that. Because we're going to bring two feeds in from both sides on this. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to look when we're done, but it shouldn't be too ugly from above. That's the key. As long as it's not ugly from above, that's what that's all that really matters. Uh, it's going to be hard to access this particular run as well. So we want water to basically... Let's dig this out. And that out. We're going to have the water coming to there. Let's put that back. Like that. And there like that. So we can dig those two sides out for the time being. Uh, we might have a torch there. Which should just get rid of all those X's. Yes, it does. Perfect. And we need to basically come out this way. This is a removable path. What I'm putting here is removable. Because we don't need it. Two. So we got one, two, three... Five, six, seven, eight. That's kind of where the mob drops need to drop. If you need a mob drop, that's where the drop needs to drop. Right there is where the mob drop needs to drop. Because we can't work with anything other than that. Let's see what we get on the other side. It should be symmetrical, this thing. I don't trust I've actually put eight blocks down there, but we'll see. We will see. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we are. That's not on the edge, is it? That's one in from the edge. And this one, this end, is right on the edge. So I don't know if I have got eight there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we have actually got eight there. Uh, we can always make the mob farm upstairs smaller. That's not a problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's not symmetrical. I really have muffed that, haven't I? All right, let's take out... I kind of want to go there. So stuff can drop down onto that. And we will block this in. Like this. Like that. And then something similar along here. We're going to put a torch in there. Or two. Or three. Just so that once we seal it up, we don't get mobs forming in there. Because we don't want that. We totes don't want mobs forming in there. Right, that's, that's one side done. It's going to be an interesting build, this one. That, that whole arrangement we've just put together there makes this for an interesting bloody thing. Right, okay, so we've got torches in there, that's good. Right, let's build all this out. My little finger is getting very, very sore now from all the shifting. But we'll cope. Uh, yeah, the lack of symmetry here is, is aggravating me extensively. We don't want that there, because that's unne unnecessary, unneeded. We will have two torches in there, because we can. 
we will knock the block out there, because we can. 